Hi friends, welcome to First Studies YouTube channel. This is part 44 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about dates in Python. The main agenda is to know about the dates in Python, how to create a date object, and also there is one useful function which we usually use in on top of date objects. So we are going to discuss all this in this video. Firstly, what you need to understand is there is no data type called dates in Python actually. So what I mean to this is if I go to Visual Studio Code, so from if I type one, then this is an integer type, right? We know that. And if I use some data with double quotes or single quotes, that is a string type. How we know that if you want to see the practically that? So let's use a print statement and use this type function, which will get the type of the data type. So if I pass one to it, if I save these changes, and then if I execute this code, it will say it is an integer type. Similarly, uh, instead of this one, if I pass like A, B, C, D here in single quotes or double quotes, then it will take, it will say it's like a string. So similarly, we have other data types, right? In our past videos, we have discussed already like list, tuple. There are so many things, but there is no data type called date in Python actually. So what you need to do is you, you need to actually there is a module, something called uh, uh, date time module. So you need to import that module and then try to create a date objects or then or try to work with the dates in the Python actually. So let me practically show you this. If you see this code here, this is how you will import that date time inbuilt module, which is already available in Python. And once you import that, you can create a date time objects. That means you can create a data which is date time type. So let me practically show you this. Let me go to Visual Studio Code here. So first thing is what I need to do. I need to import this date time module. Okay. So if you see this is this uh, intelligence here. So this is a syntax. So this icon says like it is a module. So I imported this module. Now let's assume in, in x variable I want to store today's date. So uh, so in our past video I have see I have explained already how to make call any uh, functions method classes or whatever the attributes available inside any module how to make make to call them once you import them use the module name here maybe like this date time okay so inside this date module when I say dot it will list down all the classes methods properties everything available inside that module so all these things are called like attributes of that module that means the the elements which are available inside that module that attri this attribute is like a class type and this attribute is like a, a property type so type can be anything but basically all these are like a generic what is attributes people used to call it like all these are like attributes of module so in this module i have a date time class here so i need to use it, this date time class in the date time class i have something called now function see this icon itself says like this is a function and if you see the icon of this date time or if you hover on it, it says it is a class, okay, right? So if you use this now function, so whenever you try to use a now fun a function, you need to make sure to use open bracket, close bracket, right? So I used it. So now let me save these changes. And then below, let's try to print the value, whatever I am storing into this X variable using this date time module, date time class and now function. Let me save these changes here. And if I run my code now, see, I got current date and time will. So I have year in it, I have month in it, I have date in it hours minutes seconds and milliseconds so this is like a this is a date data type data so now we are able to hold date data type data into variables why because we imported this date time module why why because python inbuilt don't have the support for the date time data types okay so this is what i have shown in this slide as well here so not only this once you create so whatever you created here it's like a date object okay so we created a date object now on top of this object, there are so many useful functions that will get very useful information. For example, X will print all this information, but I want only year information. So what I can do, keep put dot on that object and then intelligence will show all the available functions and methods there. So if I use this uh, uh, property called year here, then it will, this will give a year. So I am not using year after year. I am not using open bracket, close bracket, right? The, the reason is year is a property. How I am able to say it? When I say dot, you, you can see that uh, intelligence itself method will have this kind of icon, but this is not a method kind of icon. And also one more thing, if you see here, the intelligence will, it will still show. See when I hover on it, it says it's a property. It's not a function or method. Okay. So let me save these changes. Now, if I execute this code, I should be able to get only year part. So there are so many useful properties or methods available on top of the date object. Okay. So this is what I have explained in this slide as well here. Now. In the previous example, we created current date time. So let's assume I want to create a date with whatever the date and time I, I want. So with that information, I want to create a fresh object, maybe for 2020 January 1st. 
or maybe 2020 18th february so i want to create an object for any uh, date data so what you can do you, you again you need to make use of this same date class which is available inside the date time module so this date time class has a constructor which will take year month date time time zone everything and it will create that date time data type information as a variable let me practically show you this so if i go here uh, so let's keep that import statement there so now uh, date time module so inside this date time module i have a date time class so to the date time class constructor see the intelligence source it will take year month day hour minutes many inform lot of information it will take but all this information is optional year month and date uh, itself is enough so maybe like 2018 and also you see you need to pass it as an integer so no double quotes so maybe 2018 uh, month uh, october and date maybe 22nd so for this date i want to create a data as a variable inside the python so i am using date time constructor here which is inside the date time module so whatever the uh, if you hover on it it is going to create an object of this date time uh, class right so that object i want to store into x variable maybe so now this is like a we created a object using this date time constructor and this object type is date time type okay so once you create like this maybe i can do the same thing i can print the here like this so what i will do for your better understanding if i print this you will get a clear idea you can make sense actually what is happening now if i execute this code here see it printed 2018 10 2022 okay so this is how you can create a date objects as well using the constructor of date time class so not only this uh, this there is one useful function called string formatted time if you see here this f denotes format here and the str denotes for string time means like date time thing like so for example whatever the date time you created you want to format it maybe you want to take uh, into certain format so all this like format pattern codes what you can use when you want to format that using this function i will come to that in just a bit let's try to use this same formatter percentage b here in the function and see what will happen so for this date on top of this object i am using this str format time function which will help you to format so to the function i need to pass the format in a string format so string means single quotes or double quotes so i am i am passing a formatter percentage b similar to what i have in the slide so now let's see what will happen if i go to code here and if i execute this uh, see it is giving me month name uh, what if i use percentage here let me save these changes now if i run this see it is giving me week day name so this formatter has a meaning whatever the formatter you pass here depending upon that 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 kind of data will be get returned so or that kind of formatting will happen so if you want to know all the available formatters for this function then here is the list as i said i we i used the percentage a which is giving me the weekday completely and also i used this percentage b that is giving me month month name fully so there are so many formatter codes whatever i listed here i am not going to try each and everything from here but uh, you can pass the video here and you can try to pass any of these formatters into that function and see whether it is getting the proper data or not so this is like a description what kind of data will be written from the formatter and this is like a actual output data what you see depending upon the formatter you passed into that function okay so you can try this uh, all the formatters if you want by passing the video here okay so that's it in this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos and as i always says try to watch all my videos in the python playlist from the scratch don't jump here and there or else you will miss some of the concepts all the videos in the play playlist are actually in a sequence order so the sequence order makes sure you get the concepts one by one in a ordered fashion okay so thank you guys thank you so much